active. Pitch and allure with rod and reel is not flipping. Not even, well, it's kind of close, but it ain't the same. You want to catch more bass and bigger bass, you need to learn how to flip. And when there's a time to separate pitching from flipping, guaranteed, very important stuff here. Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. This is Hickbilly Fishing with DW Birds. Be right back. So I quit tournament fishing in, in the spring of 2001. I kind of quit before then. And the internet was still fairly new back then, the discussion forums and such. And I don't remember reading any stuff. I don't think I did any tournament bass fishing type things on the internet at that time. But when I came back to fishing six years ago, I saw a lot of comments about pitching and flipping the same sentence. Folks ain't the same thing. So... What's the difference and why should I even be ranting about it? Well, I'm telling you that when it comes to heavy cover, and heavy cover meaning grass, brush, lay down trees, boat docks. Boat docks are heavy covers there is if you put a bait in like I'm talking about in amongst the cables and all that bridge work and the floats. and the, It's just a mess. And flipping is the absolute ultimate way to catch big bass out of that heavy type of stuff. It's not even close to being the same. So here's the biggest difference is when you are pitching, and I love to pitch, and pitching catches plenty of big bass. It's a very viable method of fishing. It's just not flipping. You are retrieving the bait. You're pitching the bait out, and you're fishing it back at least a few feet back to you, repeating the process. Flipping, you're not doing that. Flipping. You are swinging the bait on a pendulum of line hanging off the end of the rod and you're putting it in a precise one inch little diameter little hole, fishing it and pulling it back out. You don't use the reel to speak of, rarely, until it comes time to crank a fish in. I don't know how to get across to people how important that difference is, especially in thick cover. There's a mine thing that comes into play with good pitching and then especially with flipping, especially in heavy cover, it's a it's a it's a brain thing because you are putting that bait directly in front of that fish's face on a vertical approach, and that fish bites it quick. Does that happen pitching also? Sure, it does. You just aren't going to catch as many fish doing it, especially if you got to get close to them. Where flipping shines is in stained water to dirty water and very shallow, less than three feet. Many times less than one foot. You have bass that are in a bush and lay down trees and grass and they're in a foot of water. They can be very spooky. Nobody on the planet can pitch as consistently, precisely, and as quietly as you can flip. You just can't do it. Will you catch bass? Absolutely. We catch more bass and bigger bass flipping? Without a doubt. You guys are fishing tournaments behind somebody else. You're a cope angler, an amateur in the back of the boat, and your partner's pitching. You better learn how to flip. You're going to shake him up if you learn how to do it properly. It's a brain thing as far as you have to put yourself in the position that you're going to put this bait right in front of that fish the very first time he's going to bite it many times immediately. Now, there's a lot of things coming to play, a lot of games to be done, but I have... At least I would, half my bites flipping come on the initial drop or when I first pick the bait back up after it hits bottom. That's the kind of thing you're doing because you're making that fish bite. You cannot do that as effectively when it comes to pitching. It just does not work.
might be called a keeper. Might just call that one a keeper if I ever get a hold of him. So here's this hickbilly guy that ain't nobody ever heard of talking about all this. You're saying, well, I don't see the pros doing that. Well, a lot of the new pros, the other guys don't know. They forgot. But you will see the older guys do it, and you won't see them talk about it. You'll see them switch over to flipping once in a while, where you're doing that, that scissor thing. Somebody called it scissor flipping once. It kind of freaked me out. But you do where you pick the rod up and you swing the line out on a very close presentation. I mean, guys, close. I'm talking for me being five seven ish, maybe not even there anymore. I'm talking ten foot for a tall guy, twelve foot, fourteen foot would be a real long flip. Where pitching is from there on up to twenty twenty five feet. It's a different thing. It's a whole different mindset. But you don't see as many people do it anymore. I think younger guys don't know about it. I guarantee you, as older guys, it's harder on the shoulders. You take that big old seven and a half, eight foot rod and you're swinging that bait out, it's harder. It's more work. Uh, being lazy ain't gonna catch you from any bass, so I'm not very lazy. I'm gonna keep on flipping as long as I can, can physically do it. You need to learn that you're putting the bait precisely in the fish's face on the initial presentation, you're not bringing it up to him. You're not hopping over anything, dropping it. You are putting there first thing. Some of the bites flipping are violent. Jig, worm, creature bait bites. You know, generally not the little tap thing. Little so no, violent because you're dropping it. For one thing, you're close. You're feeling, seeing, hearing, smelling, touching, whatever, right there in front of you. But the other thing is the fact that his bass sitting here in the cover, minds a little bit. All of a sudden, this thing goes boop right there. He just, he can't help it. He ain't going to go, he's going to go, wham, he's going to get it, especially when there's other fish there. It's amazing. And I can't believe I'm even telling everybody all this because nobody's going to listen. It's a world of difference between those two techniques, guys. Yep, I pitch. Sometimes I pitch more than I flip because there's times that pitching is the more effective thing to do. You're going down through the covers not as thick or the fish aren't buried in as much. I make more presentations, but then as I get in closer, See, I'm fishing lily pad field, and there's a big old lay down tree in the middle of it. I pitch in, pitch in, I get in the thicker pads, or get close to that big lay down, I go to flipping. I go to laying that bait in, dropping it down, pick it up, move it a few times, pick it up and do it again. Never engage in a reel to speak of unless I need to change the length of line. It's just subtle little bits. So I'm, I'm hopefully I'm inserting some video here. I'm hoping I can find this to make this make sense. Guys, it's all I got. I, I kind of get tired. I get angry. No, I don't get angry. Just pitching and flipping. Pitching and flipping. It ain't the same thing. Both have their needs, wants, and things happen really well with both of them. It's, it's amazing how good pitching can be. Flipping's better. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you like this, subscribe. My little channel here is not doing much. I don't care. It's a freaking nasty cold winter day. Blizzard conditions. I'm talking about fishing. There you are. God bless you guys. Talk at you later.